Welcome! This tutorial will cover the basic operation of the powerful Sony HXR NX5U camcorder. The video will cover setup, LCD screen settings, the three rings, on-camera settings, audio settings, playback, transfer, and a few fun ideas to try with your camera. Setup The Sony HXR NX5U comes with a rechargeable battery, a wired battery, and an outlet adapter. When charging the battery, make sure the adapter is set to charge. The NPF770 usually takes about 2 hours to fully charge and provides around 3 hours of usage. When using the DK415, plug it into the adapter and make sure it is set to VCR camera. To insert either battery pack, locate the battery compartment on the back side of the camera and insert the battery pack towards the top with the arrow facing down and then slide the battery pack down to lock into place. To remove, press and hold the battery release button while sliding the battery pack up and out. The memory card compartment is located on the back side of the camera. There are two memory card slots and the memory cards can be removed by pressing them in. Make sure you insert them correctly with the diagonal edge facing down. To open the lens, Move the switch located on the side of the lens to the open position. The Sony HXR is designed to be operated in one of three holding positions. First, the hand placed through the strap on the side with the digital zoom operated with the fingers, the record button with the thumb, and the camera placed on the shoulder or held in front. Second, the hand holding the grip on the top with the thumb operating both the zoom and record buttons and the camera held with either one or both hands and last, on a sturdy tripod for maximum stability. Screen and menu settings. To turn on the camera, press the small green button and turn the knob until the white line is under on. Flip open the LCD screen to see the display. If you need to conserve battery, you can close the LCD screen and look through the viewfinder. Both displays are identical and you can switch back and forth to your preference. Opening the LCD screen reveals the control pad for navigating the display. By clicking display, you can toggle what settings appear on the screen. Press menu and navigate the different tabs with the directional buttons and the exec or execute button to select. The following are the recommended settings for the Sony HXR. Under camera set, make sure gain set L is set to negative 6 dB and that smooth gain and hyper gain are set to off. Under rec slash out set, Open the Rec Set submenu and make sure that HD slash SD set is on HD for both memory card and EXT. And that the Rec format is on HD 1080 slash 30p FX. 60i is only used when transmitting the footage directly to a TV such as a news broadcast. 24p is used only when shooting movies for cinema. And 60p allows you to capture more frames for better slow motion in post-production but cannot record in the highest quality. Under audio set, make sure audio format is on linear PCM. Under display set, go to zebra and set the level to 100. Go to peaking and change the color to yellow and the level to middle. Skip TC slash UB set. Under others, go to assign button and set assign one to peaking. This is a useful preset that will be explained in the on-camera settings portion of this video. Press menu again to return to the live display. The three rings. There are three rings just behind the lens. The first, being the biggest ring closest to the lens, controls the focus. The second ring controls the optical zoom. Note that this is the same as the zoom tabs. However, the ring allows for more control and precise focus shifting. The third ring controls the aperture of the lens. On camera settings. There are several options that can be found physically on the side of the camera. The following are the recommended settings. Unless you are shooting in extremely bright settings, set neutral density filter to off. Focus should be set to manual for better control. Press zebra to toggle on and off a visual clue on areas of your image that are overexposed. This means that they are too bright and it will be difficult to adjust and recover details from those areas in post-production. However, the most important thing is to keep your subject well exposed. If small random areas in the background are the only things overexposed, 
then you should continue with your current settings. Pressing Assign button 1, thanks to our preset we set earlier, will turn on peaking. This produces a slight yellow outline along some of the edges of your items in your frame that are stationary and in focus. Use it as a guide to help you focus. Pressing iris will toggle whether your aperture is controlled manually or automatically. Anytime you see an A next to a setting, it means it is in automatic mode. Press iris until the A is removed from your f-stop reading for manual control. Press gain until the A is removed from the DB reading on the display and then switch the lever to L. White balance is an advanced feature and it is best to leave it on automatic. If you have experience and wish to control it manually, press white balance until the color temperature reading is displayed. Switch the lever to preset. Press the button to the right to highlight the temperature reading in gray and then use the select slash push exec wheel to change the white balance before pressing the wheel to confirm. For a natural amount of motion blur in moving subjects, shutter speed should be set to double that of your frame rate. Press shutter speed to highlight the shutter speed number on the display. And since our frame rate in this tutorial is 30, use the wheel to set it to 60. Press the wheel to confirm. Audio settings. The Sony HXR NX5U has two XLR inputs. Make sure your primary microphone is plugged into input 1 and attach it to the mic holder. To the left of the inputs is the power source for each input. Find out if your microphone needs phantom power. If not, then set the power to mic. If your microphone does need phantom power, then set the power to mic plus 48V. The provided ECM XM1 microphone uses phantom power. Open the audio level cover on the left side of your camera and make sure that channel 1 is set to input 1 and man or manual. If you are only using one microphone, then switch channel 2 to input 1, which is the middle position. Otherwise, set it to input 2. Set to man and close the cover. Now you can use your finger to adjust the audio level sensitivity using the rotating gear. The input levels of your microphone can be seen on your display screen on the bottom right hand corner. Playback and transfer. Press visual index to review your footage on your LCD screen. Navigate to a clip and select it to play back. To delete, highlight a clip, press menu and then select delete or delete all if you wish to delete all your clips. Press visual index to return to the display screen. Finally, to transfer your footage to a computer, Plug in a USB cable to the compartment in the back and then plug it into your computer or eject the proper memory card and connect via an SD card reader to the computer. Fun ideas to try. Here are a few fun camera techniques you might want to use. Set the camera zoom to its widest point and holding the camera low and angled up, slowly track horizontally across your subject. Play with focus after recording has started. Try to start your shot out of focus and then slowly bring the focus in or switch focus back and forth between two subjects. For silhouettes, adjust exposure to a very bright background instead of your subject and don't light your subject. To achieve a vertigo effect, physically move the camera in toward the subject while zooming out at the same pace so that your subject remains relatively the same size on the screen. This can also be done in reverse. Thank you and good luck with your video project.